from way back when We'll try to do our best We'll fill all your requests we'll Make you feel like our one special guest One more thing that we all want you to know We hope you'll enjoy the show So sincerely from our hearts It's music from the stars Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this month's edition of the Polka Video Spotlight. I'm very honored and pleased to have with me, all the way from New Jersey, Mr. Freddy Kenjerski. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Nice to see you. I'm going to call you Freddie K. Is that, that all right with you? <laughs> Freddie, let's start out with maybe a chronological uh, order of your uh, life in the polka field. Well, our, our band has been in existence now about uh, 20 years. Um, I've been playing professionally about 25. Uh, in the polka field itself, I've been uh, doing polkas maybe the last 17, 18 years. Um, have you come from a Polish background family? Obviously, with a name yes, like I that. Do. Yes, right? I do. My mother and my father were all Polish. Tell me about uh, your recordings. How many do you have to your credit? We have seven out right now, and uh, we'll be producing another one in the fall. Uh, the polka field on the East Coast in New Jersey, is it as plentiful as it is here in Chicago? or? There's quite a bit on the East Coast, uh, between the states of Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, uh, New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland. Uh, there's a lot of polka clubs, a lot of different polka functions. Um, of course, a lot of the churches, which are Polish, they have a lot of festivals during the course of the year. Tell us about uh, your favorite place to play. Well, one of my favorite places uh, to play, uh, of course, the festivals are all nice. Um, I enjoy coming out to the Chicago area. We have a great time out here. The you're people are fantastic. Thursday, you're going out We're saying to Thursday. Polka. We're going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we have a whole itinerary of different places to go to this week, so we'll keep busy. The polka scene on the East Coast. Um, are there a younger element? Do you see a younger element getting involved? Well, we're starting to see more and more of the young kids coming in. Now, the biggest problem that we have, of course, um, is the restrictions going to some clubs. Um, the festivals do draw quite a bit of young people out there. And um, I see a lot of young kids coming up as musicians. I think the musicians really bring the young people into the field. They start young and uh, they keep the business going. If there's a young uh, uh, musician watching this program, what kind of advice? You've been in the field for over 20 years. What kind of advice would you give somebody? Well, I guess the best advice, uh, you know, in this here field is to uh, just have a good time. I mean, it's a field where we enjoy things. Um, uh, you can't take it seriously in a sense. I mean, uh, we've been playing for so many years, and I do it because I enjoy it, uh, not because it's the job. And I think uh, once the kids get involved with it, they'll see it's good times, and you meet a lot of nice people, and just enjoy yourself. All right, why don't we take our viewers on stage right now and give you a glimpse of Freddie Kay and the band all the way from New Jersey as they appeared at the IPA Convention and Festival this past August.
Becca O. delivers in Poland on orders placed in the United States a wide variety of food parcels. Particularly needed in Poland are the multiple item parcels containing, among other things, sausages, vegetable oil, sweets, coffee, and citrus fruits. Information and price lists are gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized Paco O dealers and by the Paco O Trading Corporation. Located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call Paco O in Chicago at 782-3933. Hi, I'm Marshall Brodeen. Most magic tricks are easy once you know the secret. And I know all the secrets. And now, Wizzo reveals to you the secrets in Wizzo's magic tricks. You can perform 12 different feats of mystery and illusion. The easy-to-follow instructions, along with the secret magic props, make it easy for you to amaze your friends. 12 tricks in all that you can do 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 Wizzle's 12 Magic Tricks, available at all Walgreen drugstores. We're back on this month's edition of the Polka Video Spotlight, and we're joined with Freddie K. from New Jersey. <laughs> I'm going to play it safe, Freddie. Uh, you've been in the field for a number of years. What type of changes have you seen taking place, if they've been to the good or to the bad? Or? Well, some of the changes that I've seen over the past couple of years, a lot of the uh, smaller organizations um, have stopped running some of the polka dances. Okay, and uh, I think the festivals have drawn a lot of people. They can go to the festivals and see um, 10 bands, um, you know, very nominal cost they would pay to go in. Um, some of the things, too, um, is the uh, the people coming into the business. Um, I see a lot of people are not, not Polish or Polish extraction coming into the business. And uh, some of the younger kids who are in the rock and roll field, I understand some of the bands out there are playing this Tex-Mex type of polka. And it's bringing some of the kids in because they find it very exciting. Exciting. So hopefully uh, that'll be the good end of the business. It'll bring more people into it. Let's talk about the Grammy Awards. About six years ago, they were inducted. Uh, Pokerfield was inducted into the Grammy Awards. A lot of people tr seem to feel that Jimmy Stir's got a pretty good grip on this thing. What are the people? You're close to Jimmy out in New Jersey. What does the uh, field say out in your area? Well, I think Jimmy, uh, of course, I mean, he's been involved in business a long time, and he's promoted a lot of different things, and deservedly so. He, he won the Grammy, and of course, I mean, he's, he's in it every year. He's involved with it, so of course, he's going to be in the running every year. But again, I think it's open to everybody. I mean, uh, a lot of new bands coming up. Uh, bands have different ideas, so I think the, the field is open for anybody to grab it. Tell us about, uh, you do a, a lot of Polish vocals in your band. Do you seem to feel that that carries over to the younger generation? Because you know the older folks love it. Do you think you might be uh, segregating or because you know a lot of people don't understand the language well I tell you I think uh, if you, you find out in this business a lot of the musicians don't really understand what they're saying they do it phonetically to sing the songs and um, I think the young kids too I see the same thing I mean they like the old traditional tunes it gives a lot of feeling to the music instead of going to the contemporary the contemporary sound they have in the rock and roll field so I think going back to the ethnic thing with the young people they're starting to enjoy it I'm going to ask you a question, and I don't know, nobody's been really able to answer it. You've talked a little bit about getting younger people involved. What do you think we really have to do to get these kids involved in it? Well, I think some of the things, uh, again, going back to the organizations, they have a lot of restrictions on uh, the kids coming in. I mean, they try to stay within the... Uh, restrictions the, as far as what? Well, you know, the, the people they have been here a long time who are the offices of certain clubs, and they have a funny feeling. I guess maybe when they get older, they say, yeah, we're afraid to, to, to change things over and have a drastic change. Of course, some of the clubs, the restrictions I'm talking about is, uh, of course, the liabilities with the insurance in some of the places. Uh, years ago when I went, my father went to the Polish clubs, I would go with him. We'd have a soda, my father would sit down with all the, uh, the people there and enjoy himself. Uh, nowadays, it's very tough. I mean, uh, they you have to be 21 to go in. And uh, also, too, I think a lot of the, uh, the uh, organizations, when they run the dances, they should have a nominal fee for the poor kids. And I'm talking not only 16 and below, but I'm talking really 18 and below uh, to invite more kids into it. Some kids can't afford it. You know. Right, right. It's a force. It's forever. If there was one person that you'd like to thank in the poker field, somebody you looked up to, somebody that maybe has been an idol of yours, 
Who can you name? Well, I tell you, Abe Blazoncic, I mean, he's been around forever in my mind. And uh, all the bands that he's had, I mean, he had personnel changes, they've all been good, and he encouraged me really to play. I see a lot of different things uh, that he did, and um, also uh, the New Brass that used to be out in Massachusetts. Fantastic, Fantastic band, uh, some great musicians, and when I was uh, growing up with the business, going to a place in Jersey called Polanka in Dover, it was a very big place over there. The New Brass used to play there, Eddie Blazoncic, so, I mean, basically those two bands would really influence me. Freddie, we're going to take the viewer's rec on stage right now and give you a glimpse of Freddie Kay and his band from New Jersey. And we're going to be joined by another member of the band, Dave, when we come back. Sitting at the window for all the lost lovers out there. Join the many thousands of satisfied van and truck owners who have been taking advantage of Chicagoland's largest inventory of van and truck ladder racks, locks, shelf units, and part bins. It's Keystone Supply, located at 4600 West Lawrence Avenue in Chicago. Let the experts at Keystone select a custom van or truck package designed to meet your needs and to fit your budget. For complete van and truck conversions, call the professionals at Keystone at 202-2680. Keystone, 4600 West Lawrence Avenue in Chicago.
English Airlines. Now, more than ever, the recognized leader in travel to Poland. It's the Christmas gift you'll want to get for your family, your friends, for yourself. Chef Richard, the famous television chef, takes you step by step through the preparation of a real Vigilia, the traditional Polish meal for Christmas vigil. Every cherished recipe is presented in full on screen, and you can actually put together your own Vigilia dinner as you watch Chef Richard prepare each ingredient. Just imagine the joy of an authentic traditional Christmas celebration for your family and friends. Plus, the Vigilia videotape includes a full explanation of this beautiful Christmas tradition. To get your copy of Chef Richard's Vigilia, send your check or money order for $29.10, including shipping, handling, and tax to Vigilia, 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60646. That's 2910 to Vigilia, 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60646. Make your reservations for this year's annual Eddie Bozoncha Christmas Dinner Show and Dance on Sunday, December the 23rd at the beautiful and spacious Sabre Room, 8900 West 95th Street in Hickory Hills, Illinois. For $25 per person, everything's included. Dinner, cocktail, show, and dancing. This year featuring Eddie Bozoncha's Versatones, the fabulous Polonaise Dancers, the Polish Brass Show Band, the Polish Carolers, the exciting Saberette Dancers, the amazing magical world of David Seaback, plus guest vocalist Jenny Okseszek. The doors will open at 3, dinner at 4, show at 5.30, dancing till 10.30 p.m. Tickets and reservations are now available by contacting Bel Air Enterprises by calling area code 708-594-5182. Make your holiday season complete by attending the Eddie Blazoncha Christmas Dinner Show and Dance on Sunday, December the 23rd at the fabulous Sabre Room in Hickory Hills, Illinois. Well, we're winding down this month's edition of the Polka Video Spotlight. We're joined by Freddie Kay, and now we're joined by the exclusive uh, booker for the band and also the drummer and vocalist, Dave Rackus. Dave, pleasure to have you on the program. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Good to be in Chicago. Tell us about how long you've been with Freddie now. Well, I've been with Freddie now for about 15 years. Okay, and you're in charge of all the uh, bookings for the band? Right, the bookings, the travel, the arrangements, and uh, all the good times. <laughs> what's, the, uh, what's the best thing you like about playing with Freddie Kay? Well, the best thing we like about playing with Freddie is uh, it's a wonderful release. We've been working all week, and uh, we really have a good time all the time. And all the guys, the guys have been with us now. Uh, the same, this band that we have now has been together about five years, and we all get along great. It's a, it's a good time, and uh, you know we all help each other out. When you're uh, when you're on the stage and you're playing, and you're looking over like this weekend, there's a couple thousand people here maybe. Right. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm saying, gee, I wish, I wish I was here next weekend. <laughs> but you know, the people out here in Chicago are great, and I love the, um, I love the Polish population here. You know, the younger crowd, and uh, I love the summer festivals because generally the younger crowd and our all our friends uh, come out, and uh, it's nice to see some of our friends out here in the West. Tell us about the poker scene in New Jersey. Is it as plentiful as it is here in Chicago? Oh, sure. We have a lot of festivals out back east from uh, all the way from uh, Massachusetts down to Florida and uh, in the summer it's really thriving really what's on tap what's ahead for Freddie Kay and his band well what's on tap we're gonna be uh, cutting an, uh, another album this fall and uh, we, we're gonna be playing uh, quite a few places along our eastern uh, seaboard and also out west we're gonna be down to St. Louis on Thanksgiving weekend and um, basically uh, we're also gonna be uh, next year in Florida again and so we're looking forward to all that. And it's nice to see some of the, uh, the younger crowd and the older crowd get together. And uh, you know, in other businesses, you never see the mothers and the fathers and the children together. Right. And that's what makes this business great, I think, especially the festivals. Sounds good. We look forward to hearing from more from Freddie Kay in the very near future. Dave, it's been a pleasure to have you and, you, and Freddie on the program this afternoon. Great to be here. All right, thank you very much.
Catholic Television Chicago presents our second annual benefit for Catholic Charities and a Church Federation. It's Santa's Holiday Review on Sunday, December the 9th at the beautiful Polonia Banquet Hall, 4604 South Archer Avenue. Featuring direct from the WGN Bozo Show, Wizzo, the world's wackiest wizard, along with Santa Claus, Chet Kowalkowski and his Polish carolers, and Jerry Zahara's happy stars, plus guest celebrities. The doors will open at 12 noon, dinner at 1, show at 2.30, music and dancing from 4 to 8 p.m. Tickets are now available. Children 12 and under, only $10. Adults, only $12. For tickets and information, contact either Polonia Banquets at 523-7980, ETC at 775-9595, or Bella Enterprises at area code 708-594-5182. It's ETC second annual Santa's Holiday Review on Sunday, December 9th at Polonia to benefit Chicago's needy children. Paca O delivers in Poland and orders placed in the United States cosmetics and nutrients especially formulated for babies and young children. Combinations of products from the finest firms include dry diapers, powdered milk, and fruit juice nutrients. These items are much desired by young mothers in Poland for their children. Information and catalogs are gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized Paca O dealers and by the Paca O Trading Corporation. Located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call Paca O in Chicago at 782-3933. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost that time for us to say goodnight. We'd like to thank all the IPA members for bringing us out here this weekend here to Chicago. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce all the boys in the band on trumpet, ladies and gentlemen, from Somerset, New Jersey. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Paul Petrusha. On the trumpet, ladies and gentlemen, from St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Ron Foley. Mr. Ronnie Cook. On the bass guitar right over here from North Plainfield, New Jersey. Let's have a big hand for Mr. Pond user Joe Chuba. On the drums, give me the beat for all the boys in the band. Let's have a big hand from my hand to hell to my home side. Mr. David Delanches on the drums. Everybody. And ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big hand for the leader of the band that's made for you and me. Ladies and gentlemen, from South Plainfield, New Jersey, let's have a big hand for Mr. Freddie K. Karczewski. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we hope you had a good time. We certainly did. We'd like to thank all the officers from the IPA for having us down. And we, again, we'd like to wish everybody a safe journey home from here. Double on us. Goodbye. Now look for what Germany likes. The preceding program was a presentation of ETC, Ethnic Television Chicago.